Hey everyone, back at you again with another video. Uh, we have a couple of new stories here to talk about. One of them is basically a rumor, although uh, the source for this rumor makes it more like a leak or report because it is coming from an actual video game journalist, not you know one of those Twitter users out there. Even though, hey, if you haven't watched our most recent video before this one, check up here where we talk about some E3 rumors because one of the rumors was confirmed today with a new Ace Attorney announcement. That's right, we're getting new Ace Attorney stuff. Uh, really, really cool. I'm really glad that got ha happened because that was supposed to be an announcement that came before E3. And boom, it came today. Literally, like less than 24 hours after I made a video with a source claiming we were going to get this news soon, we got it. So yeah, that E3 video, like, and one of the major sources in it just got more verification on stuff. So check that video out because I'm willing to bet there's a lot more legit info in that video than maybe I even realized at the time. Now we have a couple more stories for you today. Uh, and we're going to get into some special stuff at the end of this episode. Some stuff I want to tease for you guys that you're really going to want to tune in for uh, this upcoming E3. So stay tuned to the end for that. But let's get into the two stories we have here. Uh, and the first one is actually something that Konami put out there. Uh, have you been hoping to get some more Konami games on Switch? But Perhaps something like Metal Gear Revengeance? That's not like the actual news here, but... It's a possibility. Well, Konami's Spanish Twitter account responded to a fan. Uh, the fan was talking about some Castlevania, some uh, Famicom games that are coming uh, exclusively to Nintendo Switch uh, soon. And he basically said, is this all you really have in the works for Nintendo Switch? Because Konami hasn't really shown a ton of support for Nintendo Switch. Uh, and Konami Espana responds with, about the Switch... It sure won't be the only one in terms of games coming to Switch. And then Gabe, a winky face. Wink, 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 wink. Yeah, um, they're definitely hinting that there's more games coming. Could it just be more classic games? Could it be uh, Metal Gear games? Could it be new games in the works? I have no idea. But yeah, Konami, uh, basically Konami, uh, Konami, Konami, <laughs> Konami Spain uh, is basically saying, hey, we do have more games coming for Switch. Stay tuned. So we'll have to see what those games are. I have no idea. I know a lot of people have been like, I've heard, I've seen a lot of calls out there for Metal Gear Revengeance. I think because that game just makes a lot of sense on Switch, it should run well on Switch. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, the other news, and, and maybe even the bigger news, comes from Jason Schreier. That's right, formerly of Kotaku. I think he actually now currently writes for Bloomberg. He was on a podcast recently, and uh, the guy kind of tricked him into talking about something that uh, he really ha has, has sort of mentioned in the past, but hasn't really gone into detail. Uh, and he kind of tricked him into it by saying, I kind of doubt uh, reports that exist out here about a Knights of the Old Republic remake, uh, which is something that Jason Schreier has sort of hinted at before. And Jason Schreier literally just said, uh, yeah, it's happening. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic. He even knows, like, oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get some news in this in this thing. So Jason Schreier said Knights of the Old Republic is currently being remade. Not only is it currently being remade, which is already exciting in and of itself, it is considered one of the best, if not the quintessential Star Wars experience. He says it's being remade by Aspire, so not, you know, obviously uh, a typical EA studio, not, uh, you know, uh, the original studio either. Uh, we're, we're talking about a different studio. Now, you might have heard of the name Aspire because, you know, I mean, you, let me put it this way. When you think of a Knights of the Old Republic remake, you don't think, oh, it's coming to Switch. You're like, oh, that's PlayStation 5, that's Xbox One, that's PlayStation 4, that's PC. You don't just assume it's coming to Switch. But Aspire, uh, if you've ever heard of that company, it's probably because you played Republic Commando, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, or Episode 1 Racer on Switch. They're the company that brought all those Star Wars games to Switch. So when Jason Schreier puts out that Aspire is the company working on Knights of the Old Republic remake, it makes you raise your eyebrow a little bit because uh, they're a company that's been 
heavily supporting Switch and heavily involved in putting games on Switch. So this now starts to get the mill going where Knights of the Old Republic, as in this image back there, could be on Switch. Now this image is actually technically the original Knights of the Old Republic running natively on Switch, but it's running through a hacked Switch running Android uh, and all that jazz. Uh, that's obviously not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a full-on remake experience uh for switch and obviously other platforms so that is exciting to me i'm, I'm a big star wars fan knights of the old republic is a important game uh in my backlog history uh that i have you know dominated in the past when i was a kid so i'm i'm really um thrilled to potentially see a remake coming and to see it possibly come to nintendo switch and then obviously we have to wait and see what konami has in store to announce for switch at a partner direct at e3 Whatever. Also, by the way, uh, a special note on E3. Uh, E3 is expanding as well. This is kind of an additional news item. Uh, Square Enix is going to be presenting at E3. They were not previously announced uh, to be part of the original grouping for E3 with Microsoft, Capcom, um, you know, Nintendo, all that jazz. There was there was a grouping of initial announcements. Square Enix has now joined the fray. Now. This is where we get into stuff that isn't necessarily related uh, to this, but is related to E3 and our plans at E3. Uh, first off, uh, stay tuned. We have a new episode of the podcast landing tomorrow where we uh, have a deep dive discussion on uh, E3 on some of the rumors that now appear to have a lot of weight behind them. Uh, and we start to uh, you know, ramp things up for E3 and get the hype train going and also discuss in further detail our plans for our E3 coverage uh, because there's some things I want to tease to you right now and I'm going to be teasing uh, really for the next month or so all the way up to E3 because E3 2021 is just going to be different this year at Nintendo Prime. In the past, um, three the, the last, what, three E3s? So I believe uh, 20, no, the last two E3s, 2018 and 2019, we attended E3 in person. 2017, I was just getting my footing as a YouTuber and didn't do a ton of E3 coverage. But 2018 and 2019, we attended E3 in person. We played a bunch of demos. We got a bunch of footage. We gave hands-on impressions. We live-streamed all the pressers from our hotel room. Uh, it It's fine. It, it, it was great coverage, and it's unique and different than pretty much any other YouTuber in my space is giving you. They're, they're not giving you hands-on impressions right away. They're not getting you footage of, of games on Switch up right away. Uh, they're not necessarily doing all that plus streaming things. Like if the YouTubers did go in person, they're not live stream reacting. So we were trying to do everything at once. Uh, and for the most part, it worked out. However, uh, obviously there is no in-person stuff for E3 or at least in-person stuff that we were able to attend, um, whether we pay to get in or get in his media. So we're doing E3 different this year. Uh, not only are we doing Everything from right here in studio. Uh, we're actually going to be building out a slightly altered set from what you see here. This set's going to be involved in the E3 show, but there's going to be it's going to be basically bigger uh, and crazier. And and it, oh, I can't wait to show you guys uh, what that final design is going to look like. Uh, and we have a new piece of equipment coming as well that's going to help uh, with how the stream's going to look. But uh, what's interesting about our coverage for E3 is not only are we going to be live reacting to all four days of stuff, so from Nintendo uh, to Microsoft to all the third parties and indies and whoever else is participating in these streams, so not only are we going to be covering all of that and live reacting to all of that, we have our own special events going on during our E3 coverage from our individual videos and to our live streams, which are going to be some really, really long live streams. Uh, we are excited to announce that we are going to be doing the largest giveaways in the history of this channel. We're talking committing over $1,000 of our own money uh, as a channel towards uh, giveaways. So there will be a Switch given away. There will be Pro Controllers, games, uh, $20, 50 $100 eShop gift cards. Uh, there's actually a special thing that's going to be announced that we're aware of during E3 that we're going to be giving away. Skyward Sword Joy-Con, we're giving away a pair of those as well. We're doing all of that during the actual event of E3. You don't got to wait a month. You don't even got to wait a day. Literally, we'll be doing that. Some of these prizes, you will be forced to win. That's right. We are going to have to, we are going to, uh, for certain of these, uh, for certain prizes, sorry, fumbling through this, we are going to be uh, picking people 
from the audience at random to challenge Eric or myself during our E3 live streams to one-on-one fights in Smash Bros, races in uh, in Mario Kart, potentially matches in Splatoon, and any other game uh, we decide to put on the list that we have access to uh, for you guys to beat us. And if you beat us, you win a prize. If you don't, Da, da, da. We return to it later, pick a new user to come in and try to beat us then. So it's going to be uh, really, really exciting. We're going to have a lot of interactions with you guys, a lot of big, big giveaways. Oh, and by the way, we're partnering with companies as well. Now, I can't go into exact details on which companies are participating. All those details are still being ironed out right now, emails flying. But I can confirm that we do have some indie studios and also some non-indie studios, a.k.a. bigger studios, that are committing to games for me to give away way for you guys multiple game codes right now i have nine game codes lined up that we're not paying for that are actually from someone who's choosing to participate uh in our giveaway spree uh from the looks and the sounds of things we might end up having two thousand three thousand plus dollars worth of stuff you know from all the games and all the stuff we're buying given away to you guys during e3 while entertaining you while involving you in the stream while live reacting while giving impressions oh and by the way we're gonna have special guests coming on in our pre and post shows as well so when we're live reacting to like the main conference parts obviously that's just gonna be probably be just eric and i but in the pre-show and post-show, because we got to let other content creators go do their own thing. But in the pre- and post-show, we're going to be having special guests popping in. I can announce today, right now, Andre's Restart. You might not have even heard of the guy. He is a smaller YouTuber, but he is as awesome as someone like 5J Gaming, if you remember him from the old podcast. He is going to be stopping in. Right now, I'm working with Game Over Jesse to get him to pop in, along with several other of our YouTube friends to help expand our coverage and make it the de facto place to watch E3, whether you're a Nintendo fan, Xbox fan, Sony fan, Square Enix, Capcom, Konami, I don't care what you're into, you're going to want to be here because we're giving away a crap load of stuff. Gaming accessories, games, consoles, all that jazz, and live reacting, and getting you guys directly involved in potentially facing off against Eric and me for prizes. So, again, we're really, really excited about this. More details to come. There will be a detailed schedule. We're going to have the uh, initial stream already set up for day one probably over a month in advance so you guys can go to that stream and hit the bell icon and get notified when we're about to go live there's going to be a massive free show massive post shows eight plus hours of streams both all four days i'll say both days it's it's a four-day event uh just stay tuned because we're reacting to everything we're gonna make this the most professional most entertaining uh, and interesting stuff uh, could happen. There might be some pie and faces moments. There might be egg cracks over heads. Uh, there might be just some crazy entertainment moments happening. Um, in addition to all the gaming talk that you already know and love from my channel. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to be great. I'm so excited to announce this. Uh, because of this announcement, we will not have a giveaway happening in the month of May, we are going to be pushing all of our chips to the middle for E3 going all out uh, and be promoting that uh, and you guys going to that. So I don't want to like take up huge chunks in the beginning of videos to do that. Sometimes I will do it at the end of videos. I will have a separate E3 announcement video that will focus directly on our plans for E3 uh, and why you should be excited. We have a bunch of companies involved. I want to thank them ahead of time. Uh, they are officially sponsoring a bunch of these giveaways plus our own money. I'm excited. Hope to see you guys watching our E3 coverage as we try to make E3 2021 the biggest event to ever happen at Nintendo Prime. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.